Let's go. Hello furry fandom. I'm Dr. Roberts from Fur Science and I'm making this video to give you a few updates about what's going on with us and what you can expect from this channel and for science generally for 2019. Before getting started, make sure, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and make sure you click the little bell icon for notifications. We've only recently started to focus on this YouTube channel and haven't really updated the content as regularly as we'd like. But for any of you who've seen us at various conventions, you know we're constantly filming something. Whether it's a spoof of some 80s movie or a 70s TV show in which we cast furries and all the human parts, or new footage for the next iteration of our tongue-in-cheek PSAs, just like you, but with fur series, or filming conversations between me and other furries, scientists, and other fur scientists. These things are in the can, as they like to say, so we just need to finish editing some of them, and then we'll post them here as soon as they're available. Many of you saw Dr. Zach Marshall's thank you video for the organizers and furries who attended the 2018 Can Ferns in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. It was Dr. Zach's first introduction to furries, and to say he was blown away by the kindness and the welcoming and the general amazingness that is the furry fandom would be an understatement. He was amazed. It's been absolutely amazing. You can't fake that kind of enthusiasm. He also sat and filmed an entire conversation with me, and we got a chance to delve a little more deeply into his impressions of the fandom and what he brings to For Science as a gender expert. A title he's a little uncomfortable with, but we love it. And it's totally true. Speaking of conversations, at Fernal 2018, I also got a chance to have a marathon of a conversation with Dr. Samuel Conway, also known as Uncle Kage, and the chairman of Anthrocon. And we get into everything from the origins of Anthrocon to the state of the fandom today, and just about everything in between, including several hilarious anecdotes from one of the fandom's greatest storytellers. So that'll be this year, hopefully before Fernal 2019, but no guarantees, but definitely in 2019 for sure. As far as cons go, we'll start off con season with Fernal 2019 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I look forward to this con every year because it's usually always the first, and it's the first chance of the new year to meet, greet, and see all of our furry friends and update you on what we did last year and recap what new things science is telling us about the fandom. Dr. Elizabeth Fine will also be attending with us and running some panels on our furry autism study. Also, there's a rumor that the pioneering furry researcher for science's own Dr. Kathy Gerbasi might be dropping in on the Sunday. And if you see her sporting a new, very short hairdo, it's for a very worthy cause which you can check out on the For Science Facebook page. I'll be helping out with the parents panel too and doing my usual science talk on the Saturday evening of the Fernal weekend. I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible. If there's something specific you'd like me to talk about at my science talk, leave a comment below. Or you can tweet your suggestions at For Science with the hashtag For Science Talk and hopefully we'll be able to make sure your questions get answered. Speaking of questions, Remember that ForScience.com is always a good place to start. We've added some great new content, including an entire section for parents. This section was done in collaboration with Moms of Furries and the awesome people at Culturally Effed, whom I recently had a chance to sit down with at a YouTube studio to discuss all things furry and for science. That should be coming out at some point too this year, and when it does, you'll find it over at the Culturally Effed YouTube channel link in the description below. Next, Dr. Stephen Rayson and Dr. Courtney Nuka-Plant will be attending Texas Furry Fiesta to update the furries in the southern U.S. on our research and progress. If you have any questions you'd like answered at Texas Furry Fiesta, you can tweet at for science with the hashtag questions for Nuka. Later in June, Dr. Nuka will head to Edmonton, Alberta for fur -A. And after that, a huge contingent of fur scientists will be heading to the behemoth con, that is Anthrocon, where we will have a lot planned. We'll be covering theory anthropy, autism, and doing, of course, our big survey. Next, we're off to Ottawa, Ontario, for the aforementioned Canference, a con very near and dear to our hearts because we were there from the beginning 
and I've watched both the con and for science sort of grow up and get bigger together. So canned ferns will always be special for us. Hi, I'm Mark with canned ferns and this is Dogmatic. It's not just science, it's, it's fur science. science! It's also where Vice Canada filmed their first piece on fur science and I finally got to answer on camera in front of the world the burning question everyone wants to know. There you go. It turns out furries are just like you. And the fandom isn't, spoiler alert, any more of a fetish for sexual deviancy than librarians' conferences. Our sixth con for 2019 will be Euroference in Berlin, Germany. This will be our first time, and I'm really looking forward to it. As you know, we were supposed to be there in 2017, but I had some health issues that prevented me from flying. Anyone who's attended any of my science talks knows the gory details. But I'm clear to fly, and now Dr. Nuka, the malicious beaver, and I are going to bring for science officially to the European fandom. This isn't, however, the first time. For science has brought the science of furries to Europe. I was invited and gave a lecture in the Netherlands to the International Society for Research on Identity at their conference in the city of Groningen, or as the locals say, I am of the University of Groningen. These are some of the top sociologists and psychologists studying identity formation in the world, so it was a real privilege to showcase for science's work on the furry fandom in front of my scientific peers. We have some great footage from that 2017 conference to share with you, and this includes identity researchers from all around the world trying to say, It's for science. In their respective native tongues. It's not just science, it's fur science. In Finnish, se ei ole vain tiedettä, se on turkkitiedettä. Ei nyt vara vetenskap, ei pelsvetenskap. We're here in Groningen learning about furry. Yeah! It turns out, in Dutch, fur science sounds a bit... Well, you tell me. Fur. Like a cat. What would the, the cat's fur be called? It is, it is a facht. Yeah. And how do you say science? Facht science, but it does not, not like fit in with science. furry science. <laughs> it's literally translation and it makes no sense at all. <laughs> okay, so what else? It's important to say this. As a scientist who's not a furry herself, I'm proud to share this work with my peers. And I'm also proud to be an ambassador for the fandom to use the facts and my platform as a researcher to correct the misinformation. We also have some previously unseen footage, interviews, and discussions from the now defunct Oklacon. We miss you, Oklacon, reaching all the way back to 2014, 2015. And so we're trying to get that out of the queue and onto this channel this year finally, as well. That's it for now. Lots more to come. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow us on however you choose to enjoy for science. Thanks for watching.